Uh, Karen Betts is one of the UK's leading semi-permanent makeup artists. She joins us now uh, to tell us how it should be done. We've got an example hi, in just hi. a moment. Why such an increase in this? The increase is because um, permanent makeup has become really, really popular over the last five years. And even in the last 12 months, microblading, which we put small particles of pigment in the eyebrows to create really, um, really fine hair strokes, it's become really, really popular. Because okay. um, it, it, it sounds like a stupid question, tell me the difference between semi-permanent and permanent, but in fact, there's no difference at all? No, nope, there's no difference. My colleagues and I have always called it permanent cosmetics, permanent makeup. And the reason being, we actually put microscopic pigment particles into the upper layer of your reticular layer, and this actually stays there for a good 12 to 18 months. So we've all seen those pictures of disaster eyebrows, disaster lip lines, things that people have had permanently, semi-permanently. How do you avoid that happening? Because that's a terrifying thought that you might walk out like that. Basically, I always actually say, do your research. So if you actually research which artist you're going to to start with, um, check out their photographs as well on social and just check out their training academy. Check out what they've actually trained with because we need to make sure that um, People have got good education. Mm. Right, OK. And, and make sure they're insured. Absolutely, say. insured, and that they've actually had the health checks as well. Is there any danger with it? I mean, are there any side effects of having... Essentially, it's almost like a tattoo, is it? It is, yeah. It is um, a cosmetic, cosmetic form of tattooing. So I would say th there's more danger by going, getting in the hands of a, a, an artist which is inexperienced. Mm. Okay. And, and Holly mentioned when it goes wrong. And when it goes, and as we said in the introduction, you are trusting someone with your face. Not like a haircut that, um, oh, it'll grow out. Yep. You're stuck with this for quite some time. So, um, so is there anything you can do if it does go wrong? Well, the, there is other things if it does go wrong. That um, There is laser that you can have to remove these treatments. But if you're in the hands of a good artist to start with, that... Um, these treatments so yeah, no, it doesn't actually happen where they're, they're going wrong. All right, well, you're going to show us a bit of microblading now. Oh, yeah. um, so this is what we would call semi semi permanent eyebrows. How long does it How long does it last? We always say that 12 to 18 months that your client should come back for a colour boost, which just freshens up their colours. Let's well, okay. have a look at Joanne when she arrived uh, this morning. There she is. There's That's, your brows. Uh, Focus on the like. brows. Yeah, and, and she has know. no clue what she looks like. By the way, she's going to see this for the first time. And we can do a split screen and show you now. Can you see that? You can't see that. No, she can't you... see that. She's lying down. <laughs> but that is quite a considerable difference. And they look Where's very, very natural. Have a natural. look in your mirror. How check your eyes. Oh, wow. <laughs> what brilliant. do you think? Absolutely brilliant. So do you normally draw your eyebrows on? Yes, every I day. Say. But what's good about this is they don't look like those great big dark eyebrows that people seem to do all of the time. This looks really natural. And is that because of the blade, you think? It is. It's um, a blade, what we actually use. And it's a hand tool. Let me show, show us you. how you do it. Yeah. Let me show you. So this is the hand tool. Oh, so, it is an actual blade? Yeah, no, this, it's actually got 11 pins. It's not a blade. It is called microblading, but there's 11 pins just on this hand tool. OK. And so what I actually do, dip into some pigment and just create... Oh, yeah, I can see. And can how see does that? that feel? It's like a scratching effect, but it's not... It doesn't hurt. Your eyelids are flickering yeah. a bit, let me it's tell yeah. you. It's yeah. The you look at you, look. It's the light. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah. you do that all the way around. So you're sort of drawing on essentially the eyebrows that have been taken away. And what happens when your eyebrows start to grow back through it? We, uh, Jo only had very, very small eyebrows where she'd overplucked her eyebrows. So we would actually just tweeze around the template that we've actually what we've God, placed they look in really there. good actually. Even this close yeah. up, that really looks like the hair on your, uh, looks yeah. like eyebrow hair. Some people don't even know if it's not natural hair. No, I, well, I'm staring at it really close. What about lips? Yep, basically with the lips. Um, we've actually drawn on the shape for Joe today and we're, we're just going to place a little bit of pigment in there just to fuse pigment out, just to give her lips that little bit more lift. So when you say you've drawn this on, is that yeah. already tattooed? That... No, it's not tattooed, it's just drawn on with a pencil, but do you want me to demonstrate yes, what please. we're tattooing? Oh my gosh, have you had this done before? Oh, good luck! <laughs> Are you scared? No. OK, good. I trust Karen. She's okay. good. OK, good, <laughs> good, good, good. So what are you... Sorry, what, what's that in your hand now? So this is a digital machine. It's different to the hand tool. It's just... Um, it's a tattoo machine. And um, 
we act what's actually happening with this machine the pigment goes in and the pigment goes in and out right. whereas with the blades you scratch, scratch a it. channel and place pigment on top but this machine is actually placing pigment in as I'm working oh my gosh, so let me demonstrate a small amount you need to make sure you don't go out the night before doing this <laughs> definitely so just demonstrating, we just take a small areas. I'm not going to ask you to talk, but I've got so many questions for you in a minute. Hang on. So you're going up and down, up and down. And is that like a little needle going in there? It is, yeah. So you're colouring in her lips? That's exactly Just what on I'm the edge. Doing. Right, what did like that feel like? like? It's like a tickling effect, believe it or not. You can feel a slight sharp edge, but it's tickly. Okay, and are you drawing on the outside of her lip or the inside? I'm, I'm going on the outside and then I will go on the inside. And all I'm actually doing is... So you fill in the whole lip? Absolutely. Oh, so it's not just the line? So you've got lipstick on always? Yeah, yeah. 